application for today is InfiniBoard, created by the same guy who created InfiniDoc. And if you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link up. But um, InfiniDoc, released a little while ago, allowed you to have an infinite amount of icons in your dock, as you would assume from the name, and scroll horizontally through the icons. And as you can see, I could just scroll horizontally. Uh, and very cool, very user-friendly, and very revolutionary. It changed the way you use your iPhone. Next thing that he released that came out this past Friday is called InfiniBoard and follows the same idea. So what you can do now is you can scroll vertically with your springboard. So I'm going to pull my icons up like this and then let them bounce back down. Uh, I have another page of applications, uh, you know, a few App Store and City applications that are not themed on a second page. And I'll go ahead and swipe over there. And, um, and as you can see here, I have... Uh, you know, a good 5x5 five five springboard set up here, and I got another row and three. So I have 33 icons here, and it would normally only hold 25. You know, a little math for you there. 10 points for Kyle. Anyway, uh, it allows you to have an unlimited limited amount of applications in this page, and you can keep scrolling forever. Very useful, and as you can see, even though I can scroll vertically up and down, uh, I can still scroll horizontally through pages, and the um, spotlight is still uh, functioning, unlike in Pogo Blank, where it you know kicks it out. Uh, a few nitpicks of mine, though, are um, very small, and I do note that this is the first version of this application, and uh, you know in the coming weeks he will be updating it uh, based on you know user uh, feedback and so forth, just as he did with InfiniDoc. But um, ma basic uh, nitpick with this application is, as you can see, I'm a pretty big fan of clear application icons. And the major issue with this, uh, you know, this uh, tweak is that there's a lot of overlapping of icons, and it looks aesthetically unpleasing and is kind of confusing to the eye. As you guys can see, I'll use my cursor. Down here at the bottom, there's a lot of overlapping, and it sort of is difficult to tell uh, what you're hitting. And also you can end up hitting um, the dock instead of the uh, applications you're trying to choose. Uh, in addition to, there is a nice uh, feature of InfiniDock where it snaps to an icon, whereas with uh, InfiniDock you can sort of go half of an icon and it just stays there, which is, I, I guess is, it's acceptable, but I think I like the uh, snap to icon feature a lot better because it allows you to have a more smooth and feel like locked in when you're transferring pages and scrolling. But um, aside from that, this is a terrific application, runs great, does not use up too much RAM. You're not going to be feeling a lot very sluggish. You're just going to feel as if this is another extension of your iPhone. But if you have questions, comments, concerns, other things that start with C, uh, just leave it in the comments, which also starts with C. And uh, I think that's all. So my name is Kyle from Mission Start, and thank you for watching.